despite the Lady Jayhawks losing their game today, they really had a very successful season. Absolutely. Exceeding expectations. KSHP 41 Sports reporter Aaron Ladd joins us live now to talk a bit about some of the successes of this Lady Jayhawks basketball program. Aaron? That's right, Kevin. You can hear it's getting a little bit louder. Fans starting to pull in here at the T-Mobile Center. Kansas and TCU just left the floor. They're warming up ahead of this semifinal matchup in the Big 12's men's championship. But as we touched on, the women's championship happening right down the road, and the Lady Jayhawks have had a great year. This was a team that was picked last to start off the year. They used that as momentum to feel them through the regular season. Jayhawks women's hoops turning heads entering March. We're a tough team. We play together. Um, we have great chemistry. They kind of had a chip on their shoulders from when the preseason post uh, first came out and we were picked 10. Brandon Snyder's bunch, well, they took that personally, turning a last place preseason prediction into their best regular season since 2012. We had a ceremony where we went outside and he had like this big bucket and everybody put the papers in it and sit there and burnt them all up. And that was like, we weren't go go out and be the last person, place team in the league again this year. From burning critics to burning opponents, KU racks up 20 wins in 2022, including the most big 12 wins since 2000. Staying true to our goals has been a big factor for us and you know just taking it day by day game by game play by play. Expected to be a dangerous team come NCAA tournament time. Just that excitement of, of, of playing games and, and playing on the highest stage and the stakes are higher. And I've always wanted to be a part of it like just the big stage and competing at the highest level and it gets tougher and tougher every game. The ultimate goal still in clear focus for Kansas Hoops. We're going to turn a lot of heads this year. We feel like if we can put our A game together, all of all of our players playing great on one day, we feel like we're going to be pretty hard to beat. Aaron Ladd reporting, KSHB 41 Sports. I had a chance to talk with uh, assistant coach Terry Nooner for that story. Part of that legendary center versus Raytown game that happened in 1995. Abby Municipal Auditorium said he wanted to win there today. It didn't happen. But like you guys mentioned, they'll most likely make the NCAA tournament. We'll keep our eyes and see where these Jayhawks, the, the men's team, end up in the NCAA tournament as well. TCU and Kansas tipping off here from T-Mobile Center in under an hour. Reporting from the Big 12 championships, Aaron Ladd, KSHB 41 Sports.